What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a new Sidget called iOS 7 Lock Screen Weather. And it does exactly what the name says it does. It gives you your current weather in your selected location. So if we go to the lock screen right here, now give it just a second if you turn it off and turn it back on because it will have an issue right there. If you turn it off, turn it back on really quick, it won't show up. But you can see right here, if we take a close look, we have the temperature right here, what it feels like as well as the weather if it's cloudy rainy and the four day forecast right here as well as the sunrise and sunset right there under the weather so really cool it looks really nice as well so if we go ahead and go back to the springboard i'll show you exactly how to get this now i will mention that i did have quite a bit of trouble actually getting this to work to begin with and i wasn't going to do a review of it but this morning there was an update for this and i haven't had any issues whatsoever with it since then so i went ahead and am doing this review for you guys. Now there's gonna be a few things you need to download. First thing is going to be iFile. This is going to allow you to change the weather location to your actual location. Also you're going to need Sidget, which is a free tweak and it's going to allow you to enable the actual iOS 7 lock screen weather Sidget. And after you downloaded iFile and Sidget, then you're going to need to download the actual Sidget, which is iOS 7 lock screen weather. Now, once you download all three of those, then it's really simple. All you need to do is go to your settings, scroll down here to Sidget, and then you're gonna tap on Lock Sidget Order, and then just make sure that your iOS 7 lock screen weather is enabled with that little tick mark right there, and once you enable it, you'll go back here, and this will say Respring. So go ahead and respring your device, and it should go ahead and work. Now, what you need to do after that is make sure that you change the location. Now, the first thing you need to do in order to do that is get your WOE ID, which is where on earth ID. So we're gonna to go to this website right here and I'll put a link in the description below. It's gonna look just like this. All you need to do is tap on this little search box right here and you're gonna put in your zip code. So we're gonna put in 90210, hit go. And then it's gonna load up right here with your WO IDs. So you wanna scroll over here to check the district county so you can make sure that you're actually getting the right one the right ID so if you try to copy this it actually does that so it's really difficult to uh, get to copy it so you either have to write it down or just memorize it I'll try to memorize it here we have one two seven nine five seven one one okay so now what we want to do is go to iFile and this is where you're going to start at the very beginning we're going to scroll down to system tap on library scroll down here to lock sigets right there and then we're gonna tap on the actual Sidget, which is iOS 7 lock screen weather. So we tap on that, tap on script, and then tap on config.js. When you get your little menu right down here, tap on text viewer. Now right here, it actually looks like a lot of code, but it's really not. It's just a few options that you're going to be able to set with your Sidget. So if we scroll down here, right up here at the very top, you have, if you're in the USA, then you can use your zip code below. So you actually don't need your WO ID if you're in the USA but I still wanted to walk you through the WO ID option because this is something that you probably will have to do in a future tweak just because that's how a lot of these sigets and lock screen weather widgets work so that's something that's just good to know and also if you're not in the USA then that's how you're gonna do it but if you're in the USA you can see here that we have cookie zip code equals and if you're in the USA then you can just if I can get my finger in the right spot, you can type in your zip code right there. So if we were gonna type in 90210, just like that, and then we're good to go. So you don't even have to work with the WO ID right here. But if you're not in the USA, then go ahead and put your WO ID right here, where it says cookie WO ID equals, and then type it in right there. Also down here, you have use Celsius or Fahrenheit. So right here, it says cookie equals C, or cookie temp equals C, so we wanna change that to F for Fahrenheit. And down here, use true to show four day forecast, false to hide it. So we're gonna change this up just because I'm gonna show you that it works. So we're gonna change that to false, so now there's gonna be no more four day forecast. Also right here, it says use true to show the loading message. Now this sometimes shows up for just a second or two 
if you're uh, if it's loading the SIGIT but we're gonna leave that on just because we probably won't see it anyways now down here you can actually mess with this if you have an alternative lock screen as well you can move it to the default top middle or bottom right here so we're just gonna leave it as default because we don't have any other uh, lock screens enabled so we're gonna tap save tap done and then we're gonna respring our device All right, so you can see that we've resprung our device here and we have our temperature in Fahrenheit we have the actual sunrise and sunset which is correct and we have no four-day forecast right there either so it really just depends on your preference what you think looks good and you can set it all up in iFile so let me know what you guys think about this Sigit in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.